Hey, how you doing everybody? It's Leo Robles here, eXp Realty, and I wanted to put together this webinar to uh, go into the KV Core platform, which I believe to be one of the most uh, amazing tools that we have as real estate professionals. And for the longest time, I would say that, you know, one of the biggest missings in my business, and I think that when I see it at other realtors' business, is the actual customer experience, right? What is when a buyer or a seller comes to you, what is the process that you have in place? What system do you have in place? What kind of tools are you providing your customers? And today's buyers and today's sellers re are requesting better and better tools. And if you don't have these cutting edge tools to service your customer, they're gonna go on all of these other platforms like Zillow, Trulia, and Redfin. So my attempt here is gonna to be to share with you some of the golden nuggets on why you should be using KV Core and leveraging all the amazing tools. And I'm also gonna be sharing with you uh, some golden nuggets on how I, how I use it to gain new business, new buyers, and new sellers. So in a nutshell, KV Core is your customer experience platform. It's gonna give you the ability to give your customers uh, property alerts to show them the hottest listings in today's market and you know, they're fully customizable and with beautiful listings you're also going to be able to put them in campaigns that are going to give them information that's relevant to them whether they're buyer sellers investors you're also going to be able to uh, give them market updates right if you want to keep them in the loop with what's going on on a monthly basis you're also going to be able to do that what if they want to download their an app on their android on their and samsung you're also going to have the ability to do that and if you have customers that walk into your open house and you want to capture their information, again, you're going to have a, a mobile app that's an open house app that's also going to point here to the platform and it's going to automatically give them information that they request. You're also going to have a phone number. The phone number is also going to be pointing to your platform. So every single thing in KV Core is designed to be very, very centralized, right? You're gonna have the phone number, you're gonna have the app, you're gonna have the open house app, you're gonna have the landing pages, you're gonna have the property alerts, every single thing is gonna point back to your platform here. So as you can see here, this is the dashboard, this would be like basically like your, your headquarters of your business. And as you can see, an hour ago, this guy you know inquired and was looking at this property, this lady Betty here was looking at property in Marietta, Louise, so you could see all these clients are just browsing through properties and I'm able to see which ones they favorite and which ones they want to see. So um, here on the top right hand corner, you can just click, um, you, you're going to see your, your Kiwi Core phone number, website. Um, you can also adjust your profile so you can make sure you include your picture and all the other information. I'm not going to dive too deep in there. If you also want to learn and master this platform, I highly recommend you do it. This is how I learned it. Just go to the KV Core training and there's a success plan. You can go step by step, take one of the modules a day. And then before you know it, you'll be able to master at KV Core. Uh, quick actions here at the top uh, middle. You're going to be able to add a contact. So when you add a contact, all you got to do is, is click add contact. So this would be for somebody that you meet, let's just say at an open house or you meet them at the restaurant or you get off the phone if you're doing circle prospect and you want to add somebody you can just punch in their first name last name put their email cell phone number you also want to click enable email call and text that way the system can also do that for you and then you're also going to want to categorize the customer with buyer seller or renter select the lead status um, and then obviously you're doing a manual ad uh, who the owner is if you have a team this would be this would change right if you want to assign it to one of your team members you can click that here and then you can also select uh, for them to start a smart campaign of some sort. So you could say, hey, this is going to be a buyer. So you're going to automatically put them in a buyer campaign. And this is where you would add the notes. You would add some sort of note that's going to give you the, the intent of like, hey, I met this guy at my favorite vegan restaurant here in the city of Downey. And da, 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 whatever it's going to make you remember that person, right? And now you got to just click add contact and you're done. So um, that's basically how you would add somebody manually. And... Um, let me let me show you how the customer profile looks. So if you wanted to actually modify any of these searches or anything, you would. This is how it looks here in the background. So you can see all the searches that the customer has seen. Five properties, five properties. This customer is like actively looking at properties. He's seen, seen two properties this week. You have their cell phone number information. And if you determine that the that this person is not a buyer and maybe a seller, you want to click seller or uh, renter. You can also adjust that here and depending on how hot they are, you can also modify the stars here. And if you wanna send them a text message, you can do it directly from the platform. You don't gotta go out of that. All you gotta do is click here, blah, blah, blah. 
and send it out. If you don't even want to do that and you want to be like simplify, you just want to send out, you know, some text messages already made, done. You have a pre-made template that's going to automatically send it to your customer. All you got to do is hit send. Um, this this person, uh, I'll show you the property alerts right now. You can also send them an email directly from here. And you also, again, have canned responses. So you don't even have to type this out. You automatically are going to have something automatically that's going to be able to be sent. And I'm going to exit out here because I'm not going to send it out right now. Are you sure? Yes, close. And um, you can also add a note. So if you had a conversation with this guy, you want to add a note in here. And then you also have more actions. This is one of my favorite parts. If you if you if if this person has a Facebook profile, I'm going to click hit Facebook here. And it's going to go to the profile that matches that customer. Boom. So you can see it right here. This is the guy. This actually is a realtor. Looks like it. But you can actually see who's actually in your platform, right? And you can also find them on Google. Um, you can also find them on LinkedIn, on Spokio, and all these other these other other ones here. Or let's just say the customer doesn't want to be contacted. You can also unsubscribe it from email, text messages from here, or you can just delete the lead altogether. So it's very, very, very powerful, very simple. If you wanted to add a task, let's just say you had a call and you wanted to like follow up with this guy on Friday at 8 a.m., you would just say, hey, follow up here. You put the details, you put the date, the time, and assign it to myself, add the task, and this is gonna automatically uh, give you an alert on that day, and it's also gonna synchronize to your calendar, which is really powerful. This section here, this, this is what I really want you to pay attention to because this is the game changer right here, the alerts. This one thing alone, when I uploaded all my contacts, um, gave me 800 inquiries within 24 hours with all of my database. So my database is constantly being nurtured with all these new information. And you're going to start getting contacted from different people and they're going to say, hey, are you, um, I'm only looking for properties with half an acre. Why are you sending me properties with the, these tiny lots? So all you got to do is go to here to alerts. You would go to edit. You could just click edit here and you're going to you're going to want to modify it here. You can also send them like if you don't want to see a, a single family residence, this guy wants condos. I can adjust it to condos. I can do manufacturer. I can do rentals, townhouses, whatever the case is. And then also I can also do keywords here if I had some keywords that I wanted to do. Um, options, I have a default as just listed, but you can also do like a fixer up or something newly built, um, or maybe you have somebody that's 55 and older. You can, you can do only horse property, golf course, pools, views, whatever the case is. You can, you can highlight it here. And then this is a really cool thing. I'm, I put this client on all the county of Riverside, but if he tells me, Hey, I only want, you know, the area of, um, Myrna Valley, I would type that in here specifically. And I'm going to do city of Morna Valley. And you can add, you can add like five, six, seven, eight, ten different cities. And uh, you can add entire counties. You also can draw on the map. So if you don't want to go through the whole thing and, and like actually select each city, you just can do a whole circle on it. And you can add this, select that, the, the whole map. And you'll be good, good to go there. You can also put minimum bedrooms, baths, also price range. And once you determine that, you can also do the lot size here, square footage, year built. And this is frequency is going to be determined on your conversation, right? If you have a customer that is really hot and wants to buy a property now, then you want to uh, up the frequency to ASAP or daily. Uh, but if the customer is not as hot, you probably would want to do like a monthly thing or twice a month or once a week, depending on how hot the customer is. And all you got to do is save and send and the customer will automatically get those updates. That right there is game changer. If you wanted to do a second alert, you can also do that. Um, you basically would just do again um, the, the, uh, the alert, uh, how I created this one. You basically do the second one. Um, you always got to make sure that this is active. If this is inactive, they're not going to get anything. This has to be hit active and it has to look like this. If it doesn't look like this, it means that you, the customer is not going to get anything from you. Um, if uh, here on the left hand side, I'll show you quickly, you have the contact information for the customer and then you have campaigns. If you wanted to add a campaign and I wanted to do like a drip campaign for a buyer, I would just select the campaign already. And these are pre-made. I don't have to do any of these. And let's just say I wanted to keep this guy updated with the values in the area. Then I'm going to add a market report and now I'm going to say send a report every you know 30 days, for example, or 28 days. And you just click add and you would you would basically just add the address on, on here on the on the left hand side on these one of these little drop down buckets here. You'll see primary address. That's the primary address. You have that right there already. So you would just hit um, add that. And then it'll it'll automatically give this customer the property alert. So it's going to keep them updated every 30, 28 days, basically, on what's going on in the market. Well, that's pretty cool. So that's what it looks like inside of a profile. And that's just the dashboard, right?
Um, you also can click here, new leads, new text, new email. So if you want to just see, hey, so who I want to see everybody that just sent me a new text, you're just going to click new text. And then this is going to show you every single person that has actually texted the platform. And then you can just start responding to these individuals from here, right? Um, you also can say, hey, I only want to see people that, that have uh, property views. Then you're going to click property views. Or if you have showing requests, you have showing requests here, they can cl dire directly click from the platform as well. So you have a you have a couple of different sections, new text, new emails, you just select it there. That way you can you can um, hit your, your list depending on how you want to you want to approach it. Um, the next section here is a smart CRM. And this smart CRM is is basically a section that's that's going to that's going to help you to set up campaigns that um, you or let's just say you want to contact people and send out a mass email or a mass uh, text. You can do it from this place. So usually, you know, I have a ton of contacts in here, but um, it, it's going to give you like a section 20 per row. You can actually amplify this to 100. But in this case, because my Internet is kind of slow right now, I'm not going to amplify to 100 because it's going to slow down the system even more right now. But I'm just going to select here on the left. It's going to highlight all of the things here on the left hand side. And all I got to do is click a uh, mass text and this thing is actually kind of slow. So let me just slow it down real quick. Um, okay, cool. It's loading, loading, loading. Come on, KB core. There it is. Boom. Okay, cool. So now you got everything here on the left. So I'm going to basically just click the left hand side. Okay. Let me wait. On it just give me a couple of seconds bear with me thank you for your patience if you're listening to this right now I'm trying to go through it as quickly as possible because I know that most of everybody's attention span is kind of limited so let me see here why isn't it loading come on come on come on let me go to okay cool smart here okay there we go now I selected it so Usually it's because I'm doing a screen record and this these these are taking massive amounts of, of internet, I guess. So I just selected all of them there, there and all I gotta do is click mass text. So that means that I can I can pre-select something that's already done, like this. Hey, I just uh, sat in front of my calendar and plan on my next few days. Do you want me to set up some time aside and take a look at some properties? Blah blah blah. You can send out a text message um, to all 20 contacts. So again, if you want to do it for more people, you want to just select 100. That way you can do 100 at a time. So if you have 1,000 people in your database, you can literally text 1,000 people in 10 clicks. So you got to make sure you just click that and then do the mass text and that's it. Or you want to do a mass email, you can also do it from there. More uh, action. So this would be if let's just say you wanted to add a certain hashtag to everybody, right? You wanted to say, well, all of these 20 guys, they're going to be buyers. So you're going to add a hashtag and it's going to say hashtag buyer. Or you want to change the status. What if they're not buyers and they're sellers? You can change it from here. You want to transfer a contact. You want to sign it to a lender. You want to add a campaign. You can do that directly from here. Or you want to just delete the contacts. You can do that from here too. So um, that's you know pretty simple. And this next section is pretty awesome. So this is the listings section. So this is going to show you the entire MLS Upload it into the database here and this one tool alone is super super powerful this is how you're going to get leads from your instagram this is how you're going to get leads from your facebook this one feature alone is going to save you a ton of time and it's going to make you a lot of money um, let's just say you were promoting on facebook you definitely don't want to put a link out there that's not going to take them anywhere so you're going to let's just say for example we're clicking on this uh, property here that is uh, 849 in Huntington Beach, for example, you're going to open it up and you're gonna see it right now. It's gonna show you the property, it's gonna show you the pictures, the price, the MLS number, who the listing agent is, but this is gonna be your view. Your customer is not gonna see this. This is only for your your eyes only. You're, they're not gonna see this. They're also gonna show you how much commission you're gonna make, assuming it's 3%. So this is just gonna be like your MLS, like if you were looking at properties. but. If you wanted to send this one property to every single hashtag that's a buyer, you can send it directly to a text. Uh, you can just send it to click once and then you would just select your hashtag and then every single person with that hashtag would get that property. That's pretty amazing, right? So you can just select your hashtag here, seller, let's just say, and then send it out to every single person. That's super simple. So you don't have to do anything else than that. That one tool alone is very powerful. So if you wanted to, to um, generate a QR code, 
Um, if you wanted to print a flyer, if you wanted to boost it, if you wanted to post it on Facebook, you can do that directly from here. All you gotta do is click post to Facebook and literally it's gonna pull up your Facebook profile. It's gonna pull up the listing already and you're gonna say, hey guys, check this out, check this out. Why you wanna do this instead of you putting up the, the pictures and that's it, is because this link is gonna give them, it's gonna be a it's gonna be a capture. Let's just say you wanted to post to Craigslist, you also have the ability to do that, post to Craigslist here. And the automatic Craigslist poster, look at this thing. It automatically does it for you. Look at this, look at this. I'm not doing anything, my hands are right here. I'm not doing any of that stuff. And this is gonna be posted directly to, to, to um, Craigslist. I, all I gotta do is click publish and that's it. My ad is done. So imagine doing like five or six of these. That, this is how you're gonna get free leads right here. Um, another way you're gonna get leads is this link here. This link here, if you click on it, I want you to see it because this is what your customers are going to see. And this is where you wanna use this link on your Facebook page once again. You can do it the way that I just taught you or you can just copy and paste this link and then put it on your Facebook business page or you can also put it on your, your uh, link in like you know how you have an Instagram you have a link in your bio you can also include that here because this is gonna have your contact information look how beautiful this is it's gonna show them all the information the description it's gonna also prompt them to download the app find the home value it's gonna give them my contact information which I want um, you're also gonna disclose the other realtors information but they can't contact that person the general features the interior features, exterior features, amenities, what other properties are going for in the area. And again, it's gonna hit them up and say, hey, download our app right here. And in this section, it's gonna show them the map. And then you're even gonna see a Google map. So you can, you can check out the neighborhood directly from here. It's gonna show them comparable properties and they can directly chat with you right here. And this link, um, within 60 seconds, it's going to prompt them to actually log in. And they can log in in three ways. It's gonna either ask them to log in with an email, and if they do log in with an email, the password is gonna be required to be put in as a phone number. So you're gonna capture their email and phone number directly from this link. And if they also wanna log in Facebook, obviously Facebook already has your contact information, or you can go, uh, go ahead and log in with Google. So this again is gonna be super powerful because this link right here, you're gonna post it anywhere. You can put it on Zillow, you can put it on your Instagram, on Facebook. This is gonna capture you leads. Everything else that you do on Facebook and Instagram is not gonna capture you any leads whatsoever because this is what I see realtors doing all the time and it frustrates me. It's like, you guys are putting bedrooms and baths and square footage and you're built and you guys are putting all of the pictures up and you guys are giving them the price and then what happens? The customer gets all the information and then calls their real estate buddy to go show them the house. You just promoted the house for free and you had no lead capture. So this right here, within 60 seconds of them looking at this information, it's gonna have them log in. When they log in, you capture the lead. And again, if you do something on Instagram, you wanna do the same exact thing as well. Um, and if they wanna search for other properties, they can also do that from here. They can also call you or they can just ask you a question or they can click on your social media links. It's very powerful. I'm spending a little bit more time on this one because this one right here is gonna be the most powerful. Let's just say you put up a, a, a Facebook um, like post on one of the groups. You know how you guys put like sometimes in, in, in like local groups and you put up a house, you would wanna put just put in the pictures of the listing. You don't wanna include any other additional information. You wanna include a description, but you wanna leave out price, leave out the bedrooms, baths, and square footage. And then when the customer says, is this available, you will respond to them with this link because this link is gonna do the heavy lifting for you. This is gonna capture the lead for you, right? So this section right here, I'm telling you, this is game changer. Pay attention to this. If you need to pause it and go back, you gotta do this, like literally. This next section here is the marketing autopilot. So the marketing autopilot is where you're gonna be able to set up your campaigns. Um, this, is, uh, this already has built into it a lead validation. So any lead that comes in, it's gonna be verified. Uh, the phone number and email will be verified so you can't even, like if somebody tries to put in some fake information, it's not gonna take it. You can also schedule a mass email. You also have a dialer. 
this thing, you wanna click on it because you're gonna actually be able to download this dialer into your cell phone. So let's just say you wanted to call leads that day, all your new leads, or let's just say you wanted to call every single person with a buyer hashtag or a seller hashtag, it's gonna be a single line dialer but it's gonna dial all those leads uh, for you. And this is free, it's already included. So you gotta do is just click there and then download it on your cell phone. You can figure it out, it's pretty easy. Um, search alerts, that's basically what I already taught you guys, but this is the way you do it on the back end. Let's just say you wanted to, like this is actually how they're gonna look. Look how this, reduced listings, daily emails, off market, they look very, very beautiful. So this is where you can create an alert. So you can just click create alert and here, you're gonna you're gonna select let's just say a city or a county or a zip code and then you're gonna punch in your keywords you're gonna do some some options like you you can select options like just listed keywords um listing types like single family residence or, or condos or income or manufacturer bedrooms bath square footage and then you're gonna click just add alert and that's how simple you're gonna be able to do it and you're gonna also be able to put in the hashtag that you wanna assign this alert to. So anybody, let's just say with a, with a buyer hashtag, you click that there, and anybody with the buyer hashtag that comes into this database is gonna have this search. So you create the search. So this is where you have to think about what you wanna do. If you have buyers and sellers in a county of Riverside, you wanna make sure you put them in Riverside, you don't wanna start sending them stuff in LA. or. Um, if you wanna get really specific and you just say, hey, this, this is only an alert for Fontana, this is only an alert for Corona, this is only an alert for Downey, this is only a, an alert for Anaheim, you wanna get very, very specific, but you wanna do a general blanket to everybody in your database, like in the beginning, right? Let's just say you have 2,000 contacts and you don't know how to basically put these campaigns, I would just do one blanket one and you can select buyer or seller hashtag and then you wanna just do maybe four counties and send them out everything and then they're gonna to start to select properties and then the AI that's built into the platform it's gonna to start to give them information that they're requesting and then you're gonna be able to see right away and then you can even modify their search and that would be something that I do is I like quality control I would call the customer and say hey I noticed that you saw some properties here in Fontana I just wanted to find out if that's what you were looking for and they'll tell me you know what I'm not even looking in Fontana I'm looking only in Rialto oh, okay great let me go ahead and update so that's when you would update the alert right so that would be something you would do with specific um, so that's a property alert there um, lead engine this lead engine is going to get you leads that's what, exactly what it stands for so landing this is where you can create some landing pages so let's just say you wanted to generate buyers or sellers this is how simple it is all you got to do is select your, your website you click start building and it's going to open up the landing page preview and you're gonna be able to buy from here and you wanna select the target. So you wanna do lead generation, video views, text lead, lead. I usually use lead generation and then you wanna put in a hashtag. So again, if you wanna do a buyer hashtag, you wanna select that there. That way any lead that puts in their information on this landing page is gonna go directly to that campaign. It's gonna get alerts. So you can just say, hey, Fontana real estate deals. So I can also do a hashtag of Fontana. Again, you would have to just put a, a campaign on those property alerts, so anything that's triggered on Fontana will go into that campaign and just get property alerts in Fontana. So that's pretty simple. You know, I just modified it, click the city there, and then on this section here, you wanna just make sure that it's selected require phone number, so that way you capture a phone number as well. You can also modify the background to do like a happy background here, and then all you gotta do is hit save, and that's it. Once you hit okay, um, you can actually share this on Facebook. You can share it on on uh, on Twitter. You can also take that link and then share it via text. So it will be up to you what you want to do from from there. So that's how simple it is to create a landing page, a squeeze page. This is also really really important, really cool. Um, you could uh, I think I skipped a step actually. Hold up. Yep. No, never mind. I got it. Okay. So this is the squeeze page. So if you wanted to do. Uh, a squeeze page and a squeeze page what it means is is that this is going to be basically like a website for a target audience that you have let's just say you want to target investors you want to send them fixture uppers right so let's just say we talk about that so let's just say we, you're going to put in here los angeles you're going to do the county of los angeles and listing type you're going to want to put in there you know this guy just wants a single family um, he's also okay with condos and townhouses let's just do that townhouse and they want to buy under a million and they want um 
here on this section here, listing type area, squeeze page options. On this section is where you would put the fixture. So here you could fixture upper, right? You'll select fixture upper right there. And then you're going to get fixture upper, single family residence condos and townhouses under a million in Los Angeles County. And then all you got to do uh, also, I mean, if you want to do, you want to get pretty specific again, you want to do a hashtag. That means that anybody that puts in their information in this website, it's going to get an alert. So I would put like Los Angeles, right? Los Angeles investor. Again, you're going to have to do it on the flip side, but you would want to put that there. You're going to click generate link. And then here you're going to see that this has a website with all the fixture uppers and LA. So check this out. So this is what the website looks like. So single family condos, there is right now, Los Angeles County under a million dollars is gonna show them everything. There's 193 properties that are selected as fixer uppers in LA County. How cool is that? So that means that this customer is gonna only gonna be, see, be able to see these houses. So if he starts to click on these properties and actually wants to see it and they inquire, all these leads are gonna go directly to you. So that's a really, really powerful thing. They can also search for an additional search from here. And that's basically how you do that here. It's pretty simple. Um, I mean, if, you, if you're doing it for the first time, it might be hard, but just be patient with this because you got to take the time to do this stuff and you got to take the time to learn it. If you don't, you're going to you're gonna be left behind. I'm telling you, this is going to be the most important thing you do. Um, the next section that's really important that I'm going to talk on today, I mean, there's more stuff that I can dive deeper into, um, but I will be doing more videos moving forward. It's this marketplace section. If you don't want to do any of the stuff that I just said, and if you want to just do the set it and forget it the simple way, all you got to do is click the buyer advertisement from Facebook. This is going to have uh, Facebook AI advertising and retargeting. So this, you can just click it literally, and you're going to be able to select your zip code where you want to generate leads. So you're going to click add to KB core. And this, this, everything else that I just shared with you is, is free. This is what you would have to pay for. You can select the budget of $250 all the way to $2,000. And you can select your zip codes right here. And then you want to point them to the personal domain or an office domain. You put in your car, your first name, last name, credit card information, billing address. You sign it. You click submit. And if you're doing it before the, 20, before the 24th of the month, you're going to start to get leads right away. So um, I've been doing an investment on this this thing here. Um, 250 bucks is gonna get you about 30 to 40 leads. So $2,000 will probably get you like three, 400 leads on a monthly basis. So this is just a set it and forget it system. You're gonna literally get these directly into your dashboard and they'll show up as KV Corp, KV Corp paid. These will go directly into your CRM. They'll be put in campaigns automatically. Um, also, one of the things that the last thing that I want to touch is that it, this is the smart number. So this is where you're going to be able to, again, any single number that, that every person that calls that number, it's going to go sync directly to your platform. So you can put this on your for sale signs, your um, open house signs, on your flyers, on anything. And it's this one you do have to pay for. It's $27 a month. Um, but again, everything is going to be pointed to your platform. So how cool would it be for somebody to call you for sale sign and then go directly in your platform and then start to get campaigns and you'll be able to find them on Facebook. That's super, super powerful. All you got to do is click the add to KV core and that's it. You're done. There's a lot more things in here. I am not going to go into those because this video would be a lot longer than, than uh, I want it to be for today. This will be enough. And you could see again, back in the dashboard, you'll be able to see the leads, everything that's coming into, into the platform here. And that is it. I only, it's going to take a little bit of a while. But if you have any further questions, feel free to reach out. I'm here to help you every step of the way. And uh, where if I keep getting the same question over and over, I'm most likely going to do a video specifically on it. So if you do find yourself that I need to go deeper on any one of these subjects, again, feel free to hit me up. And if this made a difference for you, please share it. And, and um, I will see you guys later. Peace.